Right, I think we're good on time. What is the time? Five past! That's a good time to start. Let's play our new game. There's a lot of chunky cutscenes at the beginning. I'm gonna probably talk over them a little bit, so do excuse me. If there's any glaring problems with anything, let me know. Quality of the stream, an echo, something going wrong, somebody died. I don't know, I can't help with that, but you know what I mean. And excuse my creaking chair. I keep leaning back to get my drinks because I don't want to spill it all over my setup. We're going to the magical world of Harry Potter. The mystical music and the clouds. Well, when it was stormy. I'm seeing jitteriness on my stream. What's going on here? Hmm, how to fix jitteriness. This will be fun. Oh well, at least I'm making these issues at the beginning. Uh, excuse the low quality if it is going to be like that at the beginning. I swear it'll fix in the future. I've got eight hours of this. It'll, I'll work something out eventually. Jittery Chronicles 2. Uh, I am changing settings. I keep muting myself to do it. We'll see how it goes. I think that looks better now. Huzzah! I think I fixed it. Yay! Also, though, I would absolutely love to go, like, actually scuba diving. I, I've mentioned this before in the past, um, but, like, if I could just breathe underwater, I'd gladly stay there forever, you know? Like, I'm not quite sure how the airing works with his little bars at the front of his face, but I could get along with that job, as long as I didn't have to do the sort of welding business, because that's horrifying, but I won't go into that. Colours. So, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Bright? White and blue? I like it. And also... We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. It's British. The ping was off by 150 pegs to the east. That's not gonna fly. Same accent as Ryan. Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Can we hear the volume nicely? It takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. It's a little quiet. Let's change that. Thing, Where'd I put it? There it is. I had it really quiet for when I played Wii U. How's it now? I turned it up by eight. Not that you need to know the numbers, but still. I think we know what's for lunch. All right, time for the first gameplay we get, and then none for another half hour. Huh. And all we need to do really is just <laughs> stay still. Uh, except I forgot the damn button they were trying to tell me to do. Okay. There we go. Hold time R and press A to shoot this weapon. 
If you stay still, you'll do three hits. The third one always does more, so you kind of want to stay still to get that in. Otherwise, if you keep moving, you'll only do the first hit, blah, blah, blah. I just have to stay still until things work out, until they give me another tutorial for the um, arts, which is in the bottom right corner. It's assigned to your buttons on the right. And sometimes they drop items which you can use and it's time for whatever. Uh, sorry if I sound very really unenthusiastic, it's just because I've done the tutorial before and it's pretty simple to grasp. That being said, I have a little bit of experience with Xenoblade, but I'll go into it in a moment and it's a bit iffy. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart. Oh man, I put it in the wrong place. I'll sit I'll move chat in a moment. This this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree. Together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They even the heavens the themselves. Elysium. But then, Welcome, Matt. One day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us. Sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. Does my weary old bones much good? You want me to move it, Gramps? Sorry no, for my silence. All right, all right, leave it right there. Uh, right up. And I'm just changing settings, trying to make it high quality, without making it jittery. Another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think. Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. I and think the lip too. Is the lip syncing done to the Japanese That's voice acting? That's my guess. With us titans. Maybe. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So. You Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium and the Creator who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. 
sure would be great for everyone, even folks in Fonse. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. I like that the clouds are white. It's better than Skyward Sword already. It's probably what he thinks. Maybe it's just me. Now, doesn't this look like you're about to jump into gameplay? Mm. You're not. <sighs> All right. Back to making money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Also, the loading scenes are a little... the loading screens, that's what I'm saying, are a little lengthy, but it's a big game, so I guess I can get... Oh, and it's gone to a whole new area, so maybe that'll make sense. Argentum Trade Guild! This reminds me of something, but I don't know what, just blimps everywhere. Oh well. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? You sound like the Yarl in Skyrim. Right. Else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? Mm, we your can eyes are so blue. Done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. Alright, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too. No one. <laughs> I didn't notice that when I was testing right things. Right, time for a bunch of tutorial stuff, unless we have another conversation to have. Yes, we do. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. Is it a bad guy ship? Is that what this is going to be revealed to be? Probably. Okay, so now it's going to teach us how to look around and do things. Now, there's a lot of people you can talk to, mainly the people that have the actual symbol to talk to them. I imagine maybe they'll open side quests in the future, but right now, I'm not going to bother. Um, they're going to show us like the, the HUD around us, but it's pretty basic. Like, there's the mini-map. It shows where you're looking and where you are. You can press the corner to find out your current objective. Really, it's more for me. You don't need to know about it. Though I can click in the stick to see the map across the whole screen, which is what I'll be using for the most part to get around. Um, I may talk to people in more detail in the future, but I'm not going to do it right now because also it won't let me. Like, I don't think I should be wasting time right now. You're not an old grandpa. Why did I give you a grandpa voice? But oh well. Also, I skipped this cutscene last time, so let's see how it actually plays out. What? That's it? It's life, Mayor. There's still more than I give to non friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Ardain and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty pennies. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh uh, hey? Alright, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure to do business. Ah, oh, not on. And sorry, Pixter, we got Nightbot now, so. Don't spam, I guess. I didn't I didn't notice you were doing it, but apparently they did, so Hello, Rex. Hello. Been a while. 
Rex looking high spirits? Ah, uh, no. How say? Yes. Pepe. Been worse. So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Lethirian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? You should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The Chairman? For me? Alright, I'll be uh, tweaking more things about Nightbot in a moment, but yes, let's go and see the Chairman. Or get stuck again. We can use the camera. This is actually pretty cool, so you can look around like normal. Or you can press the L button, you can manually like zoom in up and up and down. That like can change your whole perspective on where things are. I might use it a little bit, but I'll probably forget knowing me. Uh, that's about where we were. We were like uh, like that, I guess. Yeah, cool. Sorry, jumping through this quickly, because I imagine people don't want to go through it that slowly. And it's kind of slow. Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banner, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Me hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have fincy wincy thing to ask of a Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is one hundred thousand gold. A hundred thousand? Friend here writes, actually. That just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? I, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this? Of course, I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? It's ah uh, shoot, Drivers. Metal Gear guy, and, and sexy oh, Phoenix Wright, so cool, and World of so, Warcraft. There's something that we want to haul out. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area, but it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from Letheria. That when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> A child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of the measly injured ground. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Jomark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, 
Now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramps showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. But you're gonna die. Kid, you better work hard. It's interesting to see how everyone was reacting to the different characters and how they've already created favourites, but they're not the same favourites. It's obvious, but like still, it's like I've never seen it live. Man, man, man! Friends are such rowdy bunch! Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged Excellent vessel for you there. You got it. Alrighty. Um, I assume sound is okay now. Do let me know. Right then, there are plenty of preparations to make, but first of all, I should probably get in with Gramps. If I just took off on some random ship without telling him, I'm sure he'd give me hell later when I came back. I better head down the stairs and back to the Goldmouth Return Port. Right now, you'd think that, uh, thank you for the advance payment of 100,000 G, you'd think you could actually explore this place now and go to all these shops, but nope, it's still quite linear and you have to go exactly to where they want you to. I do like this, like, loading technique, though, where it's so bloomed out that it looks really nice and then, like, it slowly just fades into the background as it loads. I like it a lot, is what I'm trying to say. Right, let's talk to Gramps. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! This reminds me of uh, Merlin, if anyone's ever watched it. Now that I've got Gramps' permission, <laughs> just about, I better start making preparations for this mission. A hundred grand to spend, that sure is an exciting prospect. I could buy a whole new cutting-edge salvaging suit. But no, I can't splurge this all at once. The folks back home need this money more than I do. I'll hold off on making any big purchases and just head back to shiny knees and accessories. Always best to be prepared for anything. I might end up fighting a crust dip like on my last salvage. I have a feeling you might be a little off on that uh, suggestion there, Rex, but alright. Again, the place hasn't opened up, we just have to go to a series of spots. Also, yes, yeah, she said active quest to show it on the marker at the top. Um, also, can I pay you, Herkum? Ah, Rex, you're back! I don't remember how we spoke. Between the fee for mooring grams here and for unloading your goods, that'll be 15G in total. Ready to pay up now? Sure, that's easy. Thanks a bunch. I don't know what I've done if you tried to sh shirk your bill. Enjoy your stay on Goldmouth, yeah? Cool. I don't know if that has any kind of repercussions or if I just wasted 15G, but that's fine by me. Also, you can see these people, like, we can't actually talk to them because there's no symbol above them, but some people have their speech bubbles automatically come up. It's nice, like, it, it adds, like, a nice bit of immersion, but anyway, we need to go straight to the person over here. I'm going to do this nice and quick. We'll be on our way real soon. Shinini! Ah, friend Rex, good to be seeing! Hey, Shinini, you still got that thing we talked about before. Ah, Rex, finally save up money to purchase... You got it, can I have a look? Uh, yes, that was really weird. I thought that was part of the pause menu then, like like in Persona 5 or something, but no, it's just a guy walking a bit too close. Why Rex suddenly have much money? Salvage some amazing treasure? I've taken on a big job directly from the chairman. I've got 100,000 G just from the advance payment. Wow, that's quite impressive. But I'll be going into uncharted waters, so I'm sure I'm, I'll be, I wanna make sure I'm prepared. I need to work on Rex's voice. I can't remember how he, or I remember how he speaks, I just don't do that voice. This accessory is sure to protect Rex. Shinini, guarantee. Good luck on job. Right, now that's sorted. I've, s <laughs> that's not it. And I've still got a fair amount of cash left. He's, he's got a high pitched voice though. I'll work on it. Time to send some back home. Some back home to the folks at Farnset. I better go to Mel better go see Melolo at the Central Exchange again. These are a lot of words. Uh, boost your HP by 24%. That's nice. 
It's the only accessory, but you're sure to encounter a whole lot more. I can go to the accessories now. Great. Also, this music always makes me think of, like, Do Re Mi, like, leading up to Do Re Mi and when it gets to, not this part, but just before it. Oh, well. Rex back again? Did friend forget something? No, I didn't exactly forget anything. I just decided to make a cash transfer. Rex find money on floor? Not on round here. Very particular about money, so should turn in even small change. No, I didn't pick up any small change. Actually, I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum? Like 2,000 G? I'd rather not bandy the number about too much, but more like 100,000. 100,000? Not so loud. Oh, yes, sorry, much. But where Rex get all that gold? Actually, no, no need to tell Malolo. Malolo won't not want to get mixed up in shady business. I don't think it's that big a deal. Any hoodles, Rex, M Malolo not not able to accept such large sum here anyway. Should take directly to Courier. All monies Malolo except here allow always delivered through Courier called Max. Oh, okay, Max. I know him. Didn't know he was also delivering the money for me all this time. Huh. Well, this certainly makes things quicker. Friend know where to find Max? Yeah, he'll just be round through the Argentum Bazaar, right? Thanks, Malolo. Cool. Where is Max? Over here. There's a whole, like, tavern of levels over here. <laughs> hey, Max, I'd like to tra- oh. Hey, Max, I'd like to transfer some money. Well, if it isn't Rex, pretty rare for a client to drop <laughs> cash on in. Off to the off. Hello, notification, dudes. Game side does make- Game side as maker? I'm probably reading this wrong. Games idea maker. There we go. Thank you for the follow. Yes, that is how you pronounce it. It's a big sum this time, so Malolo said I should bring it straight to you. Oh, damn it, I said it wrong again. You're quite the guy, you know. Not many people send all this money back to their folks every single month. <laughs> it's not a big deal. So, how much are we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pockets, so after leaving a bit for myself, let's say... Oh my god, alright, 90,000 G. Can you deliver 90,000 G to Corrine or Fonset Village, please? Whew, that's quite a the healthy sum. Did you haul up some big, huge treasure? Something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. Oh, that sure sounds like a pie. Like I'd, oh, sounds like a pie I'd like a piece of. Oh yeah, I've got a delivery for you too. Good thing you dropped by, else I'd have had to track you down. I'd have... I'd have... What a word. From the same Aunt Corian of yours, actually. Oh, it's Braised Cloud Sea Shark. Mmm, looks delicious. I'll have to dig into that later. Thanks, Max. Take care of the transfer for me, okay? You can count on me. Sweet. We got a shark. No need for introductions with me, Ruri. Ruri. I sound like I'm a dog having a stroke. I was thinking of going to check out some cylinders in a bit. Well, that never coming. Ruri just got him. I can't say his name just with a straight face. Ruri just got him brand new cylinder type. If having time, then want to test it out. Really? You'd let me? Rex is up and coming star of Salvatore World. If Rex approves of quality, easier for Ruri to sell. It's not every day you get the chance to test out a brand new product. i will be glad to help. Then it's settled. Come see Ruri. And we're back shortly then. We worry we'll make alterations. Gotcha. Call you games for short? I shall do. Because apparently I think it's game as instead or something. Right. This is just near the back. It's just a little tutorial for salvaging. This is brand new cylinder. Please take that at a nearby salvage point and tell Ravuri impressions from using. Alright then. Leave it to me. Sweet. So we can use... Oops. I didn't want to talk to you again. We can use these cylinders on these salvage points. It's like a quick time event to get some loot. Let's see if I can do this right this time, huh? Well, we can fall right through. That works too. By the way, this isn't death. So, uh, Fang, you're out of a job. You can just swim through the clouds for some reason. Or, you know, hover. That, that works too. Okay. Maybe Rex can just outright actually fly. Thank you. Let's actually stay on board, shall we? I need to just get to the salvage point and... Successfully press the A button, please. There we go. Oh, I can't wait. Yo. Huh. Nope. Oh, All right, <laughs> I failed last time as well. Oh man, did I come up with a load of guff again? <laughs> a load of guff. He is really more British than me. 
We get a whole bunch of nuts and bolts. Wow, I don't know what any of this means. Oh, but we did get a treasure chest, which I didn't get last time, and a, a bad guy. I don't remember this either. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I need to check where my chat is now with the um, arts, because that was an issue last time. Oh, you can just about see it. I think that's probably acceptable enough. Sweet. And give me this. I think I got, yeah, I got better than last time then, even though I did worse, I think. Oh, well. Uh, that's that sorted. We just need to go over to this way. No, we don't. We need to go. Did everyone write round you? Good job. Let that candle finish our new cylinder. It was fantastic. Fantastic. That's good to hear. We really hope other savages feel the same way. At any rate, thanks for much star help. Also, here, give friend present of three, three normal cylinder. Can you use in the same place as before, man. Happy salvaging. Sweet. If friend ever run out of cylinders, please drop by any shop any time. We make deal. I guess I got a bit distracted. What was I meant to be doing again? Hmm, I guess I should stock up on food supplies. I've got that braised cloud sea shark now, but I could do with a bit more. Yeah, I'll visit Fishy Fishy on the third floor. Then I'll be sir. I should be all set. Sweet. I haven't had a chance to look in the chat for a while, so I'm going to do some salvaging and multitask and see that. Um, I assume everything is coming fine and people are just saying hi to people, but... What do I know? Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Oops, I was... Damn it. I forgot that I'd actually have to look at the things. Oh, but that looks better. Maybe I did good then. It's a new animation for me. Now we got a load of guff again. Yep, a couple of enemies. Well, at least we'll get some XP out of this. Uh, can I run in this? There's a, there's a button that auto-runs, but I don't know... If I've never known the opposite of that, so what do I know? Get out your weapon! Oh, I have to not press a movement and do it, okay. I might actually also die a little bit here. Which is not the most fun, you know? Uh, how do I use a, an item? I need to use an item, I need my HP potions! Why not? I'm going to die and I can't get out of it. I want to uncheat. What is the button to heal? Not that one, not that one, not that one. That's get out my weapon again, which is not what I want. Easy peasy. Okay, I'll just leave the battle until I get my health back. Getting half defeated by a, a level one enemy and it disappeared. Okay. Whatever works. Oops, I need to do a little bit more salvaging. Time for some treasure hunting. You want to tally the loot drops? You can if you want. And it's daytime now. I do like, well, it's pretty standard now, but we've got different music for the things now, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely need to learn more about the battling system. So, about my history with Xenoblade. Oh, there's an upper hand I was supposed to go for. Oops. Um, oh, will the HP potion heal me instantly? Yeah. Oh, okay, then maybe I should wait. Oops. Let me try it. Oh, it hasn't, it hasn't charged yet. There we go. So, use that. Will it heal me, heal me instantly? Well, maybe. I couldn't tell. Um, so, I haven't actually played Xenoblade Chronicles. i just seen it on YouTube, as I imagine most people have at this point. Um, so, that was pretty normal. But I have played Xenoblade Chronicles X. I didn't like it. It was. It felt very wooden and formulaic to me. That it just didn't appeal to me that much. So, uh, but this game Time already feels a lot more like the hunting. first. Not that I haven't. Not that I've played it, but still, it's like. Yo. I want it out. All yes. Right. <sighs> That's all I wanted to do. Was learn how to do this. But I don't know. It just feels oh, so I much. I love the smell of salvage. Characterized. I like it. Okay. No! We lost the upper hand! Yeah. See how this one goes. And then I can test, test this HP potion thing. Well, actually, there's only one of him. I'll probably be fine. Okay. Oh, one more. There we go. HP potion. Dead already. Okay. Never mind. You're all mine. Sweet! I 
feel rich, even though I'm very clearly not. Right, let's actually get on with the, the work. What is it we're supposed to be doing? Ah, getting fishy fishy stuff. Cool. That's easy enough. There's a whole plaza of more shops up above. Surprise, surprise. This place is pretty gigantic, and there's a couple side quests that might have opened by now. I'm not quite certain. Maybe a little bit, in a little bit, but I'm probably not going to do them. Because I just want to get off this island, because I imagine most people are already on this island playing their fun. Welcome, friend! Now then, what should I buy? Ah, uh, we'll buy one of everything, because I don't know what I'm doing. Does that sound okay? <laughs> Great. Can I sell? What can I sell? All my bolts. Uh, you can sell stuff in uh, packs, and you get a lot more money for it, so I'm going to wait on that and see if I can find a better place than just selling them all individually. Plus, I don't need to worry about gold right now, I don't think. Oh, I didn't need to s skip that. Well, he's basically saying we should go to the inn and rest up. Oops. He was basically saying he want to go back to Gramps because Gramps will give him a lecture, so we'll just go and get to the inn. Here, we'll learn that you get XP by going to sleep. You can get a little boost in stuff. If you don't sleep, though, you won't get that, so maybe they'll add a little extra challenge. A lot of times characters will level up while they're sleeping, like Rex, right now. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Sweet. Hello! A uh, Nintendo freak. Thank you for the follow. Glad you're joining us. We're just about to get into the nitty-gritty. We're about to get off this island, out of tutorial land, and into story. This really is so different from sleeping in that little hut on Gramps' back. For some reason, I f even feel I got a bit stronger. Anyway, better head to the meetup point. It was Goldmouth Exit Dock down on the ground floor, right? I guess there's still some time to look around Goldmouth a little bit longer if I want to. But I shouldn't dawdle too long. Uh, now all the shops are available, we're still not really going to go to them. We've got Sword Bash, which is nice. Uh, also, we got a pouch where you can put your favourite items in. It's not that big, can only hold one item. Uh, sort of everyday shop you find at Lifestyle Shop. Just keep them close by and you have all sorts of effects. There are 12 different types of Lifestyle Shops across Al Rest. If you encounter a new one, be sure to check it out. Is there one around here? I don't know about that, so maybe that'll be something I'll deal with later. We saw just that, that question mark was a side quest we can access, which is some hide and seek, but we're not going to do that. Also, there is full damage, but you heal pretty soon afterwards in like little heartbeat boats, like boosts. So I'm going to probably do that quite a lot. Anyway, let's head out on this lovely little sunset, shall we? Also, though, best character is here. Not in this cutscene. I'll show it off in a minute. Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, 12? Wait, maybe you are 12. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're going to swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. What, you little? Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then. Rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later.
Damn it, I muted myself. Oh, I did such good voices as well. I was doing a setting and didn't change it back. Well, I'm here now. Now's the part where I'm not, I am blind. Damn it. Damn it, I did two such good voices. Razzly dazzly, freaking strain. Well, thankfully they both join us on the adventure, so. Oops. We should be reaching the uncharted zone tomorrow, but there's plenty of time left until then. I guess I could go and talk for the clients with a bit. Because they don't know as much as I'd like. Don't know as much as them as I'd like to, yeah. Besides, not every day you get to talk to real drivers. Oh, and once I'm done with them, I'd better go see Monil. M Monil? I'm meant to be on lookout duty tonight. You won't be very pleased if I never show up. <sighs> right. Um, so yeah, at this point I haven't done any of this. I haven't talked to anyone. Look at this map. Look, well, yeah, look at like the little logos. Look at all these people I need to talk to. That Actually, this is a very tiny room, so. Oh well. What do people have to say? Hi, Nia. Nia? You seem awfully quiet. Did you get seasick or something? Of course I'm not seasick. I'm just not used to ships with this many salvages on, that's all. Well, if it's wearing you out now, you'll be a wreck by the time we reach our destination. I can handle myself, all right. <laughs> Hello, Dromark. Dromarch. Master Rex, are you prepared to begin salvaging? Let us all work well together to make this mission a success. Wouldn't have it any other way. Sweet. This is actually way quicker than I thought. Hey, Sprain. Rex, it's time to eat, drink, and be merry. It'll be a while yet till we reach our destination. Get yourself rested and ready to face the trials ahead. That's the salvage away. I'd be absolutely love to, but I sort of got guard duty. No, yeah, that's too bad. Well, make sure you guard like no one's ever guarded before. Even mindless tasks like that are a part of life's little lessons. Ha ha ha. Booze, I want booze. Why Why did your speech bubble stick out so much? That even happened when I was on top floor when I was uh, running around this place checking my settings. But, oh well. Is anyone on this level to talk to? There's Papuni. Papuni? Oh, Papuni, what are you doing here? Meh, meh. Papuni is uh, taking vacation. Yes, just going on a little pleasure trip. Hmm. That's a little suspicious. <laughs> Hi, Jin. Hi there. You're from Latheria, are you? Sure am. I was born, I was raised in Fonset Village. The village is right by the Cloud Sea, so I grew up swimming in the clouds. That's why salvaging work comes naturally to me. I'm pretty confident in my skills, despite how I may look. Very good. I'm gonna get a drink. There we go. Sorry, don't mind me checking the chat occasionally. Especially since, you know, last time I did, it confirmed that I was not audible. So that's pretty helpful. Um, you can actually go right up to the top and talk to Monel straight away, but he'll be like, just talk to the other people, please. So. When did it get so late? What do you want, kid? I forgot how this guy. He's, he's like confident. The other guy was like edgy, I guess. I'm called Rex, actually. Pleasure to be working with you. So I'm guessing you're not going to fill me in on what exactly it is we're looking out for here? That's the idea. Need to know basis. Why? Are you curious? Well, sure I am, but I'll do the work I'm paid for, whether you tell me or not. That's what I like to hear, kid. I just hope your skills are more advanced than your age. My name is still Rex, not Kid. <laughs> oh dear. And Sever. Invading Mallow's attack when you're not even a driver? That's impressive, boy. I look forward to seeing how you handle the work ahead. I is that a compliment? Th thanks, I think. Sweet, I think that's everyone sorted. Yep, there's only one logo left, so go up to the deck and talk to Manel on the lookout platform. It's time for the real blindness to start. Yay! So, you finally arrived, have you? Well, are you here to keep watch, or aren't you? Start the shift. Ah, at last, I can get a breather. Think I've earned myself a drink or two. It's not looking too good out there. I'd steal yourself for the worst. If something's up, give me a shout. Don't worry, I won't be drinking myself or something or other. I pressed the A button accidentally, excuse me. That's the black ship from the harbor. Is it following us? Oof, it's way too cold up here. You? 
I love you know I've got a name. It's Nia. Nia? I didn't quite hear it. They booze in below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager then. Why is that? Swim like a fish and drink like one too. <laughs> That's the salvager's code. This is very clearly British. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Or inspired. Mm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So kid. My name's Rex. Okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Hmm. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed there was fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. But living space is running out. Day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium, don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's, uh, why you're a salvager? It's just a lie for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clothes. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. Hmm. Does that count as a heart to heart? I guess not. Finally, some bad weather. We're in position. All personnel report to station. Oh. Salvage team, shoot up and proceed to hatch. Uh oh, that's, oh, this is cool. I mean, it's pretty basic, but still, the way the whole thing's just sort of leaning back and forth, that's cool. Um, apparently my game audio is leaking a little bit into my mic. I was ex kind of expecting that, because the, actually the volume's a bit louder than I want it to be, so I might turn that down. But also, hopefully it's not, like, echoing as much. Like, like, what's the word I'm trying to say here? Uh, hopefully I don't turn off my monitor accidentally by trying to find how to turn off the volume, or turn down the volume. Shoot, that's not it. That's not it. Stop. Um, sorry, give me a moment, I'm sorting out my TV stuff. But I should hopefully have synced up my audio so that they're in sync anyway, so like, it wouldn't echo, but I don't know. If it's faint enough, hopefully people can just sort of get around it, but I'm still... Don't want to do that. Do not want to do that. Okay. Where's my boom button? Uh, none of those. Where are you? You're one of these. I know you are. No. There you are. And then that one. Shoot, I just turned off my monitor. Good job, me. Well, while I wait here, let's sh look at me running around when I can't see it. Ugh. Okay, sorry. Interrupting the big dramatic song. Damn it, I have to go through this whole thing again. I'm sorry. We're back momentarily. Right, this is the one. Ooh, that's too close, but alright. 
down, 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 down. That one. That one. That one. And then... Okay, we'll put it to that. That's fine enough. That's not... There we go. There we go. There we go. Volume's been lowered. You might still hear it a little bit, but let's get on with this dramatic story, shall we? Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so... We'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull fast. Next, we'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. Spot the protagonist. Is it the one wearing colour? Let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying your low lives a lot, so don't screw it up. You smoke souls. Uh, when you say you can't- oh, okay, never mind. Can't hear leaking audio. Phew! I thought you said can't hear game audio, and I'm like, uh It's a cutscene, you kinda need to hear it. And submerge. That it. What have we found? Is it a titan? It looks pretty no. ancient. Is that the propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? So quiet. That makes sense, but still. Surely they wouldn't stick out perpendicular, but you know what? Okay. Attention, man. Massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. Second phase, go into it. That's pretty cool. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know. You that. didn't even see I me. I do this for a living, remember? All teams, proceed. Inside when ready. Right then, let's get moving. You with us. Me? You're gonna drag the kid along. Seriously? Guess he thinks he need all the help you can get. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nia really changes her mind quickly, doesn't she? She's like, you're not too bad. Why are you here? Well. Don't just stand there. You've got your orders, haven't you? Okay. I was thinking that same thing. Why does Mr. Captain's face look badly textured? textured? I can't say the word. Like, it looks undone. Oh well. Whoa, hello. Select characters to move. Oh, this is fine enough if they've given it to me as default. I'm good with that. 
Guess we could only have three. You've just acquired new comrades to accompany you on your adventure. You can adjust the setup of your party in main menu, characters change order. No matter how many friends you make, you will never be able to take more than three party members into battle at once. So choose carefully. The character set to number one in change order will be the character that you control. Yes, I can play as the other two, that's cool. No two characters fight in the exact same way. You should experiment with a few and find who fits your playstyle the best. Okay. I'll have a go at someone else then. Um, except I need to work out how to change the order. So they're a healer. Yeah, they're a defender. And they're a fighter. I'm not much for <laughs> either. I'll probably try and try out... Uh, what's his name? Jin? How do I change the order though? I guess it's one of these buttons. Uh, that's skip travel. That does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. That's a, these are my tutorials. Damn it. That button? Minus? No. I guess it is somewhere in here then. But, but, but no. Here we go. Change order. Cool. Um, you cannot substitute this cat right now. I know. Sweet. Well, I definitely probably want a healer. So, we're going to go all out on the attack. With a healer. Although you've got a gun. A gun. A blade. That's fine. I want to try it. Can I? Okay, so it won't let me play as them. Okay, then fine. We'll go back to the normal. Sorry for trying. I don't know what I said, but I did mean blade, yes. Um, ooh, hello. Oh, there was treasure back in the last place. I found two in my when I was practicing. and Damn it. All right, well, it probably didn't matter that much. We got plenty from salvaging. Hey, Monal. There's no telling what you'll find in an undiscovered region. Best to remain vigilant. <laughs> Got it. Still, you'll be with a bunch of drivers. Drivers have incredible strength, so you'll probably be fine with them. You just concentrate on fulfilling your role in the mission. Cool. All right. Uh, are you guys running with me? Yes, you are. You've got quite the space. But all right. Oh, must be somebody top notch. Doesn't matter. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, I guess I would have had to have, um, one of them has a driver, so I would have had to do it eventually. Okay. Uh, oh, sword, sword Bash is a back attack. That's cool. Let me try that out. I need another hit, but then I'll do it. Sweet! Oh, nice. Ah, uh, sure, we'll use Anchor Shock 2. Can't tell if actually heals me straight away, but yes, it does. It heals everyone. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Okay. Getting it now. Amazing. So that's how drivers and blades fight. So ruthless. It's like they're monsters themselves. <laughs> Nice. I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. You too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical. It was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. That's enough yapping, you pair of brats. Let's move! Oh. Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. Elders. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. They make short work of monster. These no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well too. There much money to be made from these people. 